Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so I was just out tonight and um, I was I came back from a club and um, I was doing some photo comparisons with the HTC One and the S4 and I saw all these posts um, about like how I know I get a lot of posts about you know before like from iPhone fanboys like saying like oh whatever man you know you're uh, you're very biased and all that kind of stuff and all that and you know I've always shrugged it off. Um, I've got even things about like oh well you're a Samsung fanboy uh, with like the tablet comparisons and everything like that. So I'm used to those kind of things. It doesn't matter. But to me it's kind of like you know I'm not the only one who gets uh, like I told you guys before. On every category I do, especially with reviews and comparisons, I always ask multiple people, um, at least three, if not more, and uh, almost none of them use Android itself as to keep it, again, more, like, neutral, um, because, so, to kind of steer clear of my biases. Uh, however, this time around, I got accused of something that I, I really take offense to. And I thought that might happen because of what happened, like, overseas or whatever. Uh, but I got accused of, oh, how much is Samsung paying you to, like, do good reviews? And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. First of all, no manufacturer will ever pay me to do reviews for them. Because I, I just won't accept it. Uh, so I want to make that perfectly clear. I don't get paid from Samsung. I don't get paid from HTC. I get paid from YouTube, from Google, essentially. And that's it. Um, I purposely, uh, recently, over these past two months, turned down two partnerships on YouTube because of the fact that um, in the fine print, it was basically that I could not say anything bad about any partners they may have that um, that also might be, you know, uh, supplying products and certain things like that and all that kind of stuff. It was really weird fine print and I... And when I asked about it, they were like, well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty standard stuff. I'm like, I can't join them. And I would be making more money if I did that. Uh, but I just, I will not take money from them. Now, in terms of like, well, you know, it seems like you're really biased uh, against the HTC One. Honestly, I feel that it's just the fact that I'm kind of the opposite of most reviewers uh, over this month, which is... Almost every reviewer got the HTC One first, and then got uh, just recently, like in the past week or so, got the S4. Um, I was lucky enough to get the S4 a bit earlier, um, and you know, um, I can't really say my exact connections. Um, but basically, like I, I got through the reps from uh, these manufacturers that I talked to and uh, have befriended and about that. Um, I've gotten some nice connections. Uh, so I get to I get to really uh, pl starting to play with these phones early, which is really nice because you know to stay competitive uh, with these uh, big corporations that you know have like this made easy. Um, it, it's really something that I've had to try to do and all that. But I've always told these reps, you know, like just because I'm reviewing this product does not mean I'm going to favor it in any way, shape, or form. And I told this because like I have this phone for about three weeks to test out for the one and everything like that and test it out. I try it. Um, the thing is, is that, to be honest, it's because I've got to play around with the S4 and experience for about three weeks before I got to play with the One, the One has kind of seemed like a downgrade. And, I mean, obviously that's shown. And I, I told this to HTC rep uh, before she gave it to me. So before she gave it to me, I told her, you know, I was like, look, um, I got to tell you, like, I've played around with the display and everything like that, and I, I feel like, you know, a lot of things aren't as fine-tuned in everyone that, and she was like, well, no, I understand, like, you know, I'm like, so I just, I want to say that before, like, you let me use this phone, just because, like, I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to love it, or like it, or anything like that, so, um, I did make that point very clear before I had it, and she said, no, I understand everything like that, so, um, the thing about it is, is that, um, in terms of HTC, I love the company. I really do. I respect it so much because of the fact that it's going. It's the originator. It came out with the G1, um, and you know the Evo was such a huge part of Android success. Um, so I love a lot of things about it. But to be honest, I've never been the biggest fan of Sense. 
Um, I more prefer HTC with a launcher, uh, which is what I've had to kind of do. Um, let me take off the launcher. So without the launcher, I've never, I, I just, I don't care for Sense as much. I love their clock, and, you know, I always put HG widgets, which is similar to that. Um, and, I mean, I wasn't impressed by it as much. And obviously that's shown in the review, but just because I'm not as impressed by it doesn't mean I don't like certain things about it. I love the front speakers so much, and um, I'm really, you know, a big a big advocator of those. I was, I mean, you can see like every phone review to like, uh, I remember when the Samsung MP3 player first got them, I was like, this is the most amazing thing ever. Why doesn't every device have this? And I kept going on and on about them. And I always go on and on about front speakers. So that's one thing I was like, man, Samsung missed out on a chance to put them in the front be first. They had them on their MP3 players. They had them on their tablets. They just, it never clicked to do it on their phone and HTC beat them to it. So that's something I love over it. The camera has not been that impressive. I literally, when I was at the club, I did side by side uh, night comparison shots, and comparing the two, it's just like each time the Samsung is one. So it's like, so now am I gonna get blamed for that? The uh, when the Samsung is better, probably. And I mean, I'm just only addressing this once because like, I know there's gonna be people to troll. I know that. I always know that I've accepted that a long time ago, and that's why like I'll always leave some comments, but in the end, I'm not gonna like keep like you know back and forth, back and forth. Like you have to realize that I do know more than most people in electronics, and I study these features a lot. Like when people like the main two downsides about the S4 that people say is one plastic. You realize you can get aluminum backings for it. And that's just, it's that easy. You can get an aluminum backing for it because the backing is removable. You can just get aluminum backing for it. Plain and simple. So if you want that, you can. And two, it's cartoony because of TouchWiz. First of all, if you think TouchWiz is cartoony, then you just haven't realized that you can actually change the screen mode because those vibrant colors, you can actually use RGB professional uh, screen uh, viewing. So it actually is more neutral and truer than even like an LCD is, or IPS screens are. So it, it, that kind of lack of knowledge really annoys the heck out of me when I see someone like say that kind of stuff. And it's like, you just don't know what you're talking about. Um, in terms of if you don't like TouchWiz, then again, you can put Launcher on it. That's what I did with, touch, that's what I did with HD Sense. I don't care for Sense. I never really have. Um, and I just put a Launcher on it. So, I mean... I just wanted to make that clear uh, because it just it I find it kind of annoying uh, that that came up uh, and I knew it was because I was like oh man I gave the S4 good reviews uh, so even though I couldn't put the videos up right away like I was like when I saw that article I was like oh man they're just gonna I know someone's gonna accuse me of that or whatever it's because I like the S4 and the funny thing is is like. Although I know a lot of reviewers like love the HTC One. I mean, you're talking about you know Pocket Now, The Verge, uh, Engadget, like all of them like praise the One. And I don't know if again because like I had the S4 first that I wasn't as impressed by it because like I used it for three days. First of all, the battery just dies quicker than my S4. It just does, and I'm using it the same way I was, and it's dying quicker. So I mean. And again, it's like, so what, am I am I going to get blamed for that? Like, oh, it doesn't die quicker, like, you know, you're just being biased. I'm like, it, it dies quicker. I mean, if you guys want to, like, be around a full day with me <laughs> and see, it will die quicker than my S4. And, it, it, and the fact that I can go to sleep in the S4 uh, will barely be on red uh, when I go to sleep. And the fact that when I get off of work, this one's already on red, it, it's just, you know... And so, I mean, because we're going to see the full comparison soon, and the HTC did win in some categories over the four, and tied uh, some between both of them, and you're going to see the overall results. So it's just kind of like, I don't know, I really I really just needed to get that out, because it's something that really annoyed me Like when I got home, and I was like, I, I need to address this, because I will not take that, that like I'm not getting paid to do this, you know? 
and especially when I just turned down more money over the past two months, to be biased, it, it, that really annoys me. It, it just really annoys me. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. Yes, I do like Samsung. I, I mean, I do. Uh, in a lot of their products, I pretty much like Samsung and Asus. If I had to pick two manufacturers that I really love in Android, I would pick those two. I love their products. Um, HTC, I've always respected highly, but to be honest, I think that company will go out of business by next year. That's that's being honest. And you know, as much as like reviewers have loved it, it's not selling, guys. It's it's not. So I mean. The population is not agreeing with those reviewers, and I think, and I think it's just again because maybe they don't get everything. Now, of course, it'll go back to marketing because a lot of people, and I've said that obviously, marketing is a big thing for a company not to do marketing. They're idiots. Marketing is a huge thing. So you know, I I do like HCC's little um, commercial with the front speaker thing. I think it's kind of misleading in a lot of ways but I do like the front speakers better I just I love front speakers um, so and you know that's always been my Achilles heel I'm there's no way even if even if a, a rear speaker sounded better I would still go with front speakers most likely just because I love front speakers and but HCC HCC I think just didn't do any wow factors like you know they, they got praised for innovation I'm like what was the innovation necessarily? This body they got to make because they got uh, they got to use patents from iPhone, and it looks similar to an iPhone. There's been aluminum bodies before, so that's not innovation. There's been front speakers before on like the Samsung MP3 players, so that's not innovation. Uh, there's been IR blasters before, so that's not innovation. It's I'm just kind of like what what is innovation necessarily bringing to the table with this? what blink feed Zoe which is the same as a third-party app that you can get free on Android it, that's what I was just kinda like I, I think I got I got jaded with the HTC because I was expecting so much and then when I got it I was just like I was like wh where's all these great things that I've heard so much about in a sense and that was what really uh, that that's I think why some of those reviews went to negative. Now, on now I have obviously those reviews are already up, um, but on the more more of the features that I shown the one, I will take all of your comments more into account. I want you to know that I'm, I will take more of those comments into account um, and keep that in mind. And because I don't want to seem like I don't want to seem jaded, and I feel that maybe is where I was. So, you know, those comments do help in a way. Of course, some of them were just annoying. Um, but yeah, so I, I do I do always listen to you guys, and I do take comments. Um, you know, I, I take them into consideration always. So um, I will do more on that. But one thing I just wanted to make clear is, like, I don't get paid. Yes, I may like Samsung. Yes, I may like Asus. Yes, I may um, not care for certain brands so much, like Acer, if they don't give me good quality, but I'm not going to seem excited for a product when I'm not excited for it. I don't want to ever act. You know, I don't want to ever be like, oh my god, it's so much better, this is so cool. You know, it's like, I'm going to be honest, if I haven't found, like, if I haven't found Blink Feed useful because it doesn't have as many uh, services, I'm going to say I haven't found it useful because I feel like, okay, well, no, Flipboard's better. And especially the fact that it, Blink Feed takes 0.5 of the RAM. So you don't have 2 gigs of RAM, you have 1.5 RAM. Things like that, like, you know, because I know that's the cause of it, it's really annoying. So, um, but yeah, I just, sorry I'm like ranting a little bit now, but I just, you know, I, I wanted to get that out because I feel that, that um, I will take all those things into consideration, but. I just wanted to get my side out there that no, I'm not getting paid by anyone. I knew that was going to come out like when those articles came out, like I said. But no, I don't get paid to review any of these products. You know, um, if these products are given to me in my possession, I always make it clear that I will not necessarily give a favorable review. I will clearly say my opinion and the opinion of other people around me because I do have like three to five people that I always consult 
when doing the reviews and ask them each their favorite. And sometimes I get out of voted. Like, you know, the look and feel, I wasn't a big fan of HC, but I easily gave that to it because everyone uh, because other people like this feel better. So of course I gave it to them. I'm always gonna I'm always gonna give it to the general consensus, even if I get outvoted. I'm not vetoing anything. You know, so and that's something I do want to make clear. I always ask, you know, I literally have like a person that's biased against Windows, two people that are biased against Apple, and two more people that like Android. So I really try to I really try to consult like with a couple of them always you know, before I do a review and everything like that. And we you know we meet up for lunch or Starbucks or whatever and kind of they get to play with it and like, okay, well you see these photos, which one do you like better? Okay, well you hear this music, you know, which one do you like better? Do you see these videos, which one do you like better? So I always I always ask for that and so I just wanna make that clear again. Oh no, there's always gonna be scrutiny, I know there's always gonna be trolls, but I just wanna make that clear. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um hope that cleared some of my stuff up. Um sorry CKY, the Android guy.